I just wanted to jump on here really quick and just uh, encourage you. I am feeling refreshed. I took some days off, but I needed those days off, y'all. Okay, so I'm so glad that I did it. But I want to speak to my weekend warrior ladies. Like, so if you're a weekend warrior, where are you at? Let me know in the comments if you're like, that's definitely me. And what I mean by weekend warrior is, are you somebody who struggles? Hi, Sandy. Are you somebody who struggles with going full on? I'm going to eat whatever I want every single weekend and I'm going to start my diet or healthy eating plan. Most of you can call it a diet though on Monday. Is that you? That was me. That was me for so long and it sabotaged my weight loss efforts constantly. Drove me nuts. I didn't quite know I was even doing it, but once I started like to take the time to recognize that I was doing it, I could stop it, okay? But I'm not here to tell you to stop it. I mean, hey, that'd be great. But I'm just here to encourage you that if this is you, if this is where you're struggling, every weekend, you're like, I'm eating all the things. We eat out every weekend or, um, you know, we have movie night, Friday and Saturday night, and I eat all the popcorn chips, M&Ms, all the things. Whatever it is for you that keeps you feeling like you're just kind of stuck and like you haven't gotten to where you actually want to be by, you know, a month a month out or whatever this may be an issue for you and a lot of times it just is these little things that trip us up and we don't realize that maybe we've eaten so healthy the whole week but then we get to you know like um Monday through Friday we've eaten really good and we've kept our you know our healthy eating plan and all that but then by the weekend we up our calorie count by 3,000 calories or more sometimes and you know it doesn't take I think it's like 3,000 calories actually for one pound of weight gain. And I, I just realized, okay, I know that I was eating healthy all week long. And I may have even tracked my calories, which was something I've done, you know, periodically. And kept, you know, between 15 and 1,800 calories. But then Friday night comes, Saturday comes, Sunday comes, and I'm consuming another two to 3,000 extra calories. I'm certain more than that to be honest, because if you go out to eat at any restaurant, you're looking at probably just a thousand calories for one meal alone. Even a lot of salads are close to that when you add your dressing, um, when you eat out. And then, you know, you're adding on like the bag of popcorn or if you go to the movies and eat popcorn, like just these little tiny things, even if you just did that one time, you're probably adding on an extra thousand plus calories to your week and you're not, you're not in a deficit anymore. So it's like you're kind of just going around and around the circle. Okay, so here's your encouragement for today. Um, today's Monday, and I know there's a lot of you ladies who like to start your diet over on Monday. So if that's you, every Monday you start over again, you're like, I'm gonna do this, and maybe you are doing it. Maybe you're doing a really wonderful job through the week at you know, say, sticking to what you say you're gonna do and you know, eating healthiest as possible, but then you run into the weekend and you kind of you do it again or maybe you don't do well throughout the week maybe you just have a goal every Monday and then by Tuesday or Wednesday you're off <laughs> off your diet okay so there's a, a thing you can do to help you with this okay so you go, first of all like it takes a process to think differently for weight loss so that you're not always on a diet every Monday but that's something that I teach when I coach women and in my course and all that kind of stuff that's something I teach but for just thinking through where you're at on Monday Go into your week with this mindset that you're gonna make the healthiest choices that you can as often as possible. They may not be every single meal healthy, like super healthy choices, but the healthiest choices available to you at the time. Doesn't mean you have to run out to the grocery store and like stock your house up and stuff if you don't have the funds to do so. But throw out as much junk as you can. And then when you get to the weekend, just keep going, don't quit, don't jump off. Keep making those healthiest decisions that you can. So if you love to go out to eat, hey, keep doing that. But you can pick restaurants that have healthier options um, available to you, like get grilled fish, get a sweet potato instead of a baked potato. Um, you know, choose veggies instead of rice or fries or something like that. You know, there's a lot of good healthier options. Even when you're doing your salad, you can still get ranch dressing, but maybe just water it down a little bit. It just helps a little, just in those little tiny tweaks where you're still not dieting, you're still not keeping yourself from eating the things that you want but you are giving yourself some margin, <laughs> okay? So that's helpful, like I still eat out. Like yesterday, I, 
I had Burger King for lunch, y'all, but that was all I, I had. That was the only option I had. And I mean, I felt horrible the rest of the day. I mean, my stomach hurt and everything, but it was just one of those things where sometimes that's just the way it's gonna happen. But I didn't eat like that all weekend. And that was the only thing I even wanted to eat the whole day. I had a really good healthy breakfast. I ate like fried eggs with butter and zucchini super good healthy fat breakfast but for lunch it was just the that was just the way it was and there was nothing I could do about it I felt like he, at least maybe I could have I could have just been hungry longer and got home but I had a meeting I had to get to and it just wasn't gonna work so you know just thinking about doing the best you can as often as possible because just giving up full on and saying like I'm going all in this weekend and I'll start over on Monday keeps you in a cycle of like frustration and you can't figure out why you can't lose weight and you're doing you feel like you're doing all the things and you can't stay consistent because you're discouraged and all that kind of stuff okay so hopefully that encourages you this week as you're going into the week thinking even about your weekend right now that we, I know we just left the weekend most of you are like I'm just trying to get through this minute right now Catherine okay I get it but if you're like hey I'm already thinking this weekend I have a birthday party I have a baby shower I have a whatever like uh, or you know I'm going out to eat with three girlfriends or whatever, like three different times you know or um, whatever it is you're traveling or something like that it, there's no excuse okay it doesn't matter but if you think a little bit ahead like give yourself some space and think just for a second how can you create a little bit of margin in your calorie deficit hold on one second baby that and I'll help you I promise um, it, and get and still get to your um, your calorie like deficit maybe or right at where you need to be for your body to stay in fat burning mode it's not starving and it's not overeating storing up the fat okay so just plan ahead think about how you can transition from what you were already going to go into it with like this mind of i'm just going to eat it all because i don't have a choice this weekend you do have choices if you're going to a party or you're going to like um baby shower for instance or you're going out to eat with your girlfriends whatever it is i just can kind of give you some examples you can think through those things and already plan ahead what you are hoping to eat like so look at the menu ahead of time it's planning, I know, but planning, poor, poor planning or planning, not planning is planning to fail. Okay. So like give yourself a, like some planning space and I don't mean you have to like Pinterest perfect plan it out. I just mean, think about it a little bit, like give yourself a little bit of time. So you're not surprised because if you don't have a plan, and you don't know where you're going. You're likely going to end up somewhere you didn't mean to be. Okay. <laughs> so just think about it. Um, you can bring a healthy dish. If, if you're like, I know I'm going to this potluck and they're not going to have nothing that is going to be on a healthier options side, go look up some recipes, go to my YouTube channel and look up some really healthy recipes there. And I love using Trim Healthy Mama and y'all can see like, this was what I was doing last night. I love this cookbook. It's like so tattered. <laughs> But I love it. I love it because it has so many awesome recipes in there that I can go to and think about my meals for the week. I don't do like a lot of meal prep, but I do plan at least somewhat. Like I'm, I'm still, I don't have a lot of time for that. So I, I go through, I go to my, my cookbook here and I pick out a few things that I wanna cook for the week. And some of them are going to be fast. Some of them are just going to be like, y'all fend for yourself tonight meals. And I know that this week, but the, a few I can do. And so I just love the Trim Healthy Mama's plan as far as the cook, the, the recipes and the, the food, um, because it's good and healthy whole food. And I know I'm going to be feeding my family something that's real food, <laughs> something they like, and something that's going to nourish their body and give them the energy that they need. And it's not just going to fill them up with empty, white, sugary, you know, all that kind of stuff and leave them bloated, constipated and irritated. So <laughs> I don't want a family that's any of those things. So I love Trim Healthy Mama for that. So that's what I do every Sunday. And then I just go, go to Walmart grocery, put in all my stuff, you know, that, that I need, you know, I kind of already see what I have in my house, put in a grocery order so I can pick it up the next day, which is where I'm headed right now. And um, then I have all my stuff for the weekend. I'm not trying to wing it and just eat on the fly or you know whatever and, it, and I don't do a lot of meal prep I'll talk to you guys about that like I don't do elaborate meals is what I should say but I will you know always when I, and I'm going to be doing some new stuff this week I'm going to post on my YouTube channel so if there's anything that I know is like super simple and you guys could benefit from it I'm just going to record it post it on my YouTube channel for you okay so that you can you know do it too um, because there's no excuse okay and then also I just want to touch on this really quick about the healthy eating is expensive thing. I talked to y'all a little, a little, I did like a little reel for you last week about this because I've really been thinking about it because during the challenge, a lot of you ladies had that excuse. And I'm just telling you what, it is an excuse. 
I'm just being honest right now. It is not an, a valid excuse. Uh, I mean, I, not at all. And I was looking just to kind of get a little idea. I used to think this way. I used to think this way myself, okay? So I get where you're coming from when you've been your whole life thinking, I can only afford ramen noodles or I can only eat prepackaged foods because the, he the healthier options are more expensive. And they are to some degree, a little bit, and some of them are a lot of it. But you don't have to overhaul your whole house and have healthy ingredients for every single thing, all organic, all that kind of stuff for everything. But there's some swaps. Any little bit helps. You can do some swaps. And I found some really great ways to do swaps. So I was looking at the Walmart app last night and I was looking at organic cucumbers versus just regular cucumbers and organic is always better because you have a lot less you know pesticides and like even for other um like some vegetables even genetically modified seeds all that kind of stuff you don't have to eat that stuff which is obviously really if you don't know it's really unhealthy for your body okay really unhealthy in lots of different ways so the organic cucumbers versus the non-organic cucumbers was 70 cents difference for the exact one pound for both for one pound it was a bag of like the little mini cukes and I was like, okay, 70, I think it was 78 cents. 78 cents is not gonna break your bank. It's not. Okay, and you don't have to eat all organic or everything. But even like my kids love dino chicken nuggets. And that's not healthy. Like dino chicken nuggets are not healthy. Those Tyson ones, they're just not good. So I, and they're like $7 a bag or something like that where I live. Seven and some change. Hold on, buddy. So I buy the dinosaur chicken nuggets that are like, like um, organic, non-GMO, that type of stuff. And they're cheaper. They're cheaper. You get a little bit less, but they're cheaper. They taste better. I know that I'm feeding my kids the better option. It's still not the best. Like grilled chicken breast would have been the best, but I don't have time for that all the time. Like I don't have time for that hardly ever during lunches. Like let's just get it and go. <laughs> okay. And so then I was looking at something else. What was it? Tomatoes. There was little cherry tomatoes and tomatoes are a big deal. Like any vegetables, if you can get them organic, it's best. And this is just from Walmart. Now there's lots of other options for like Aldi's. You can go to other you know places and get them on sale. But this was just Walmart, where I live locally. The cherry tomatoes were non-organic, were more expensive than the organic cherry tomatoes for the exact same weight. What? So I'm like, okay, see, that's not, this is what's happening. You're not looking for it, and you're just automatically writing it off and saying eating healthy is too expensive. So you don't even look for the option to do so. Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel bread used to be almost $8 a loaf. Inflation has happened, and for some reason, Ezekiel bread hasn't gotten more expensive. It's gotten less expensive, and it's way better for you than wheat bread, white bread, any kind of other bread that even the Dave's Killer Bread, which is probably like the, the best, healthier option. Dave's Killer Bread is like five sixty four a loaf where I live, okay? If I get Walmart, now I can go to the bread store, which is like one of those, um, I don't know what they call them, like outdated uh, like where they're expired breads, something like that. I can go there and still get them for like, like a loaf for like four bucks. But if I go to Trader Joe's where I live, Trader Joe's, cause I'm kind of in, in an area where I can like plan if I need to go to Trader Joe's once a week, I can make it on like a Wednesday and I only get specific things from there, but they're not that expensive. And I used to think I can't shop at Trader Joe's cause they're too expensive until I actually went in there and looked. And I was like, oh, I thought this was going to be more expensive. This is cheaper than Walmart. And it's better ingredients for most of their things, not all of their things. They still have a lot of processed stuff there too. But, and I eat a lot of processed stuff. I'm just being honest with y'all. Like I can't help but do that sometimes. It just happens. Like I just told you I ate Burger King. But I'm still like feeling it today from that. My stomach's like, I hate you. Um, anyway, um, but the Ezekiel bread at Trader Joe's is $4.39 a loaf. That's cheaper than Dave's Killer Bread at Walmart, which still has like s some ingredients that's not really the best for you. And I'm just like, wow, I'm blown away by how, what is happening and how I'm actually able to find things that I, that I can eat that's the healthier option that doesn't break the bank, y'all. My son is rolling around all over the floor down here in his underwear. <laughs> it's cute. Anyway, um, you can't see him though because He's in his underwear. But anyway, um, he's just building a fort, like little pillow forts. Um, but so so just think about that. When you do something called, when you activate something called a reticular activating system, activates and starts looking for things, it's in your brain, something I teach really in depth in my course and all that stuff. But when you start looking, 
your brain starts looking for ways like to be healthy when you start when something starts to become really important to you and you start shifting your mind and looking in in different areas for different things you start to recognize like i never saw that like if you ever bought a car for instance let me just explain this better if you've ever seen a car that um don't bite me. Hold on, buddy. Have you ever seen a car that you never seen before on the road? Like you bought the car and now you see it everywhere. That is your reticular activating system like working for you. So if you are looking for healthy choices and you're looking for ways to swap out what you're already eating for healthier versions and still not break the bank, suddenly you're, you're going to be able to start finding them because that's what's important to you. And it's like your brain is scanning for what's important to you and it's weeding out the stuff that is not important to you. So your reticular activating system is absolutely a gem God gave us in our brains to help us to filter out stuff that doesn't matter because we can only take in so much information a day and helps us see the things that is important to us and so once you decide I'm gonna be this healthier person and I'm gonna do the best I can it doesn't mean you're gonna be perfect it doesn't mean you're gonna lose 30 pounds in 30 days it just means you're gonna start making healthier choices and swapping out some stuff like don't use vegetable oil use applesauce it's so silly, but it tastes exactly, it tastes better actually, than you know, using vegetable oil if you're gonna cook, bake something I should say. You can use applesauce, it's amazing, and you get like way better taste and you know, the nutrition value, okay? So there's just little things you can do. So I hope that that encourages you. Um, I didn't really mean to go over there with the healthy eating stuff being too expensive, but I'm glad I was able to talk about it for a second. I'm gonna be a lot more detailed talking about this like in the next coming weeks, because I really feel like this is important to help you ladies break past this barrier in your mind that says I can't afford to eat healthy because you can't really afford not to, to be honest, because if you, unless you have like paid for you 100% insurance, one day you're gonna have to pay for not eating healthy by having a body that doesn't run at its optimal level, unfortunately. Food is our fuel. And if you're pouring sugar into your gas tank, you're not gonna be able to go very far, if at all, if the engine even cranks. Okay, so just think about your body like a car. So anyways, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day and thank y'all so much for hanging out with me um, today. And if you're interested in any part of my course and you wanna be part of that, it's you're still there's still room, there's still a couple spots open, um, just reach out to me and I'll get you plugged in and hooked up and we'll get going with the other ladies. All right, y'all, have a good day.